Um, so some front end technologies that we use for the results page um, and, and all throughout the site. Um, a lot of stuff that you guys probably are familiar with. Um, but the first thing was the uh, Reuters Election API. There's a link to it if you want to learn about it. Um, they are advertising it now uh, since uh, March 18th. They've been advertising that product on their site. Um, jQuery, of course, because jQuery runs everywhere. Um, we use Twitter Bootstrap on our team exclusively. Uh, we use it as our base library for just about everything. Um, so we use Twitter Bootstrap to, to handle styling and, and visual architecture responsiveness. Um, we use the thing called Typeahead JS, which is, uh, spun out of the Bootstrap project. Um, and it gives you a nice little Typeahead drop-in search. Um, it's extremely powerful. We use it all over the place. Uh, we love it. Question about Bootstrap. So do you guys use the most recent version of Bootstrap? And if so, does that make you drop IE7 support? Or do you guys have to like, go back and like patch that? So we are using the old version of Bootstrap for this site. Um, we are in the process of working with the uh, of, uh, integrating the new version of Bootstrap, and we're not really sure. I just have them traffic is tiny, but I need traffic is. Yeah, right, and they, they dropped 97 and 8 in the last version? I, I think it was just 7. Just 7, and then there's a couple yeah. of patches you can get into. It. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I'm not, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Um, we're moving away from supporting older versions of IE. Um, At least the days of IE6 are over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so we're moving away somewhat from, from Internet Explorer. Um, <laughs> eight and, and below. Um, so TypeHack.js is awesome. We use it all over the place. Um, one thing that we found is that uh, on limited data sets, right, like 500 candidates, and, and a couple hundred referendum, maybe not even that, 50 referendum. Um, you know, that's, that's a, that's a large-ish data. It's a tiny data set, really. But like, um, but uh, uh, if you have that full, if you have that type of search that's automatically suggesting um, stuff to you, it's very hard for people to, to go down at that end and, and to get a no results page. Um, we never want people to get no results pages. We always want people to get them to contact as fast as possible. Um, so we rely really heavily on this in a lot of our projects. Um, Backbone.js and underscore JS uh, to structure the application um, and also to uh, process some of the data. Um, and then moment.js for data processing. And really what I've just described is basically the stack that comes with just about any uh, application that our team now builds. Um, and then finally, uh, 